to start us off, it's going to be head coach Mike Santiago from the University of the Incarnate Word. And Mike, come on up. Mike is entering his third year with the Cardinal football program. He's got a league high 27 starters returning this year. Mike Santiago. Yeah, I knew I was going to go first again this year. Had to go first last year, which was understandable. Our first year in the league, our second year as a program. And um, we were pretty excited about last year. Uh, if you can get excited about 3-8, and eight, being a second year program, being able to get three wins, uh, three wins against Lone Star Conference teams, uh, that was big. Uh, that was a big year for us. Um, going into this year, we we're in the third year of our program. Um, we, don't, we still don't have a senior class. You guys are getting tired of hearing that, aren't you, that we don't have a senior class. Uh, next year, they're coming. Our first senior class will be here. Um, we do have a, a very large junior class. We've got 28 juniors uh, returning, um, most of them starters. I've got two of them with me here that I want to introduce today. Uh, both of these guys are uh, on the dean's list at the University of the Incarnate Word. Both of these guys are on the Lone Star Conference uh, academic list. Uh, first, and if you'll stand up, guys, I'll introduce you. First, Andrew Mosio. Andrew's a tight end, was an honorable mention all-conference player a year ago. Um, Andrew is from Waco Riker and uh, is a senior in eligibility, uh, engineering management major, um, and carries a three-point. One of them has a 3.7 and one of them has a 3.6. Who's got the 3.6? Okay, that's why I introduced you second. All right. And Andrew's got a 3.7 in engineering management. Next is Chaz Pavliska. Chaz is one of our team captains. Uh, Chaz is out of Floresville, Texas. Uh, again, a senior in uh, uh, academics, but a junior in, in football eligibility. He is also an engineering management major with a 3.6 GPA, uh, the leader on our team in tackles, and uh, uh, just a great guy that, uh, that has really, both these guys have been with us since we were just a hole in the ground, by the way, since it was just a pile of dirt. So uh, very proud to have them with us, and I want to thank Stan for feeding them today. They've been a little expensive over the last 24 hours. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those situations where um, we're starting the third year. We're excited about it, uh, excited about the second year in the Lone Star Conference. Uh, if you had to start a football program from scratch, you wouldn't start by playing all those guys that were up there, by the way. Uh, that wouldn't be part of the game plan, but, uh, but that's what it is. You've got, uh, I've seen four of these guys are, are ranked in the top 25 in the nation uh, going into the year with Abilene Christian number two. And, Kingsville ranked fourth in the poll I looked at. Uh, West Texas ranked 14th, and uh, Midwestern ranked 24th. Uh, that's a heck of a, a schedule for a bunch of juniors and sophomores and a big group of freshmen. Uh, on top of that, we added Lamar University to the schedule, a Division I, the first time uh, that we will, I think anybody at the Incarnate Word will play a Division I program. Uh, and then the, the other non-conference game for us this year will be East Central Oklahoma, which was uh, finished as one of the tied for one of the top teams in the old Lone Star Conference North. When I was putting together the schedule, I, I kind of, my Rochelle, my wife, kind of asked me what the hell I was thinking. And uh, I said, well, you know, these guys out here, I don't have a choice. Uh, uh, and it's, uh, it's time for us to start playing up. And that's the goal. Uh, first year we played for experience. Uh, last year, going into Lone Star, we tried to play for respect from you guys. Uh, this year, uh, we're playing with a purpose. And that purpose is not to go first next year. Good luck to everybody in the room. Thank you very much.